Hello everyone, my name is Jukes aka Baguette Was Taken and I will be narrating backstage answers to your questions. If you want to see your questions here in the future, consider joining 2127's Discord server or watch out for next week's Reddit thread. How did you find out about O's? I found out from a random video I came across on YouTube. I was really fascinated at the game and how it looked, even though I didn't know how to play it. At the time I would have never guessed I'd end up playing it for the next few years and becoming pro at it. What's the skill set you care most about in O's? All of the skill sets are really important, but I think aim is the most important one. There is a lot of components to aim like flow, speed, precision, jumping ability, etc. You can adjust your aim to make it more flowy or snappy depending on what map you're playing. Aim really ties into all the other skills in the game. How did you come up with the name Baxe, and were there any names you had before that? I came up with the name Baxe when I was trying to come up with a random name for my OS account. I was typing in random names and Baxe came up. I thought it sounded cool, so I stuck with it. Who did you look up to when you started playing the game? Are you still looking up to those people, or have the people changed? I looked up to Kukizi, Maruchi and Whoop Wolf Wolf. They were the three best players at the time. I still look up to them, and I think it's really cool to compete with Kukizi and Wolf 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 in the global rankings. What is it like being one of the youngest, well-known and good players out of everyone else? Honestly, it's cool to think about how people look up to me today, just like I did with other top players when I was a beginner. It's pretty crazy to think about. How did you handle being accused of cheats? Has it affected you in any way? Being accused of cheats did make me feel bad for a while. I could have dealt with it a lot better, but it's still all just a learning process, I guess. I was trying to prove myself for a long time that I was legit, but it was probably unnecessary. I can deal with the haters and accusators much better than I could before, which I think is a good skill to have. Did you show O's to any of the IRL friends? If so, what do they think of it? I showed it to a few of them. Some of them played O's for a while and got into the top 100k. Some of my other friends don't really understand how the game works. What was the hardest thing you had to learn in O's? Whether it was when you started playing or later on? Probably learning hard rock and hidden hard rock. It's a whole different style of playing than double time. I never really started playing it seriously until 2017. I tried really hard at it and it got pretty decent at the mod. Now I don't really play double time very often, just mostly no mod, hidden and hard rock. How do you balance playtime with schoolwork and everything else going on in your life? I just play O's when I have free time. It's just like if I played any other game I guess. For school I try to prioritize it first before O's or other games. I admit it's hard to balance tournaments with my life since they happen on weekends and I'm usually doing stuff on the weekends. How did you get into tourneys and what are your experiences so far? Any memorable experiences that you want to share? I think my first tourney was OUST. It was really fun and I felt pretty much no nerves when playing it. Many of my good memories from tourneys were being able to participate in tourneys with my O's friends and being able to compete against other top players. How did you improve so fast? What kinds of maps did you play? What did you practice the most, etc? I think the reason why I improved so fast was because I always pushed my limits in the game. Even though I might have not been good for my consistency at the time, I spent a lot of my time as a beginner playing really hard maps. I always spent my time playing maps that were hard for me to pass. I played a lot of high BPM double time stuff because I found high RR challenging. I think this was why I was able to develop good mechanical skills quickly especially with fast single tapping, high approach rates and speed. What kind of music do you listen to outside of the game? Big Black Fox. How do you think Hidden affects your reading and the ability to play more dense maps? Hidden makes everything disappear fast, basically. I forced myself to play it for a few months. Wouldn't recommend. In terms of map difficulty, I find that Hidden makes low AR much harder, especially low AR streams. It has the opposite effect on Area 11, making it easier. 
Not entirely sure why. Why didn't you ever participate in OWC? I was always planning to participate in OWC, but was never able to because of personal reasons. Hopefully, I'll be able to this year. Do you ever feel overshadowed by other players because you've never had the number one spot on O's? Not really. Getting number one on O's was always one of my goals. But I knew it's not a true measure of overall skill. People get upset whenever someone they believe doesn't deserve rank one gets it. But rank one wasn't a true measure of overall skill to begin with. Getting rank one is all a matter of farming skill, basically. At least in today's PP meta. Do you have any other hobbies beside O's? Block punching. Have you considered streaming more often? I've considered streaming frequently for a while, but never got around to it. For me, I guess it's just one of those things that you plan on doing, but keep putting off and never get around to it. Hopefully in the future, I'll start streaming often. Are there any scores that you are going for that you want to achieve in the future? Not in particular. Maybe getting scores on all the new stream PP maps, to be honest. Also, I've seen Big Black. Still haven't done that yet. Do you yourself think that you belong in the top 10, and do you have any aspirations in contesting the number one spot soon? Yeah, I think so. Maybe not with my current skill at the moment, but I did set some cool scores this year. I'd like to compete for the number one spot, but I don't think I have a chance at it. My high BPM single tap is really bad now, and I can't alternate high BPMs. So basically, I can't farm double time. When did you become more interested in tech maps? Did anyone in particular influence you, or got you to show interest in them? I was never interested in tech maps up until some months ago. My main motivating for learning how to play technical maps was playing in pro-player lobbies. Technical maps would always get picked, and I didn't do very well at them. That's when I decided to start playing them more, so that I could add them to my skill set. I didn't find technical maps very fun before, but after learning how to play them better, I find them very fun. What's your opinion on the current meta and ranking system? I find it kind of cool that Hard Rock has made its way into the PP meta. Hopefully it will motivate more people to learn the mod. Other than that, I don't really have any issues with it. The ranking system was never an accurate measure of people's skill. The reason so talks and stream maps only made that more pronounced. How did you find the most comfortable group and area for you? And do you have any tips for people who have been struggling with finding them for a long period of time? I changed my grip a lot over the past one or two years. My area too. I experimented a ton with new groups, grip angles, areas, etc. A few weeks ago, I found one that I think I like and probably will stick with for a while. For people who have issues with finding a comfortable grip, I would recommend just to experiment with a lot of grips until you find something that clicks. Give each grip a day or two to adjust. Also, it's good to experiment with small and bigger areas, hovering and dragging and stuff like that. You don't really need to stick with the same grip forever, especially if you feel it could be more comfortable. If you want to, you can even copy the grips and areas of other top players. There's no harm in it, just don't do it with the belief that it will make you better. Thanks so much for watching. My name has been Jukes. If you want to reach out to me, you can send me a message on Reddit, user handle baguette was taken, or you can message me in game, nickname Jugal. If you want to see more content like this in the future, Subscribe to 2127 and join his Discord server. Once again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.